Welcome, everyone, to the 2019 Winter Lecture Series of the Society for Social Research, held this year in the beautiful village of Seefeld, Austria, where we're looking at sports and culture. We're delighted to have the renowned anthropologist Clifford Turner here to start things off. Before going any further, I'd like to thank the staff for their hard work and extend a hearty mountain greeting to those joining us on our live video stream. And now, Dr. Turner. Thanks, Harry. Hello, everyone. I believe I saw many of you on the slopes today. Fresh snow, amazing scenery, a great place to talk about sports. As you know, a lot of research in our field looks at ancient sports in contexts where they're closely tied either to religious ceremonies, say, dealing with the spirit world, pleasing the gods, or to practicing core tasks of survival, like hunting and combat. Then, of course, there are rites of passage, you know, fitting people into their social roles. That's all fascinating stuff. But tonight, I'd like to focus on team sports in modern societies. I argue that modern sports, especially team sports, serve a different set of functions. They're much more about representation, projecting a model of our society, either as we wish it were or as we think it really is. And although sports still help us fit into society, the target today isn't any particular role, just adjusting to life in general. So, what am I saying here? On the one hand, sports offer an ideal image of society, life as we think it should be. Competition, sure, but with clear, fair rules. Think of the basic elements of team sports skill, strategy, Chance and rules that govern how to play the game and how to determine a winner. And there's a close tie to social education. Today, school systems promote these sports as a way to teach teamwork, fair play, discipline, respect for authority, respect for opponents. Their main objective here is to turn students into responsible members of society. So, That's sports reflecting how we think things ought to be. But that function always exists alongside another one the representation of non ideal life, life as we experience it, so called real life. This second function begins to take over as we move toward professional sports. Here, the competition is more intense. More emphasis is placed on victory than on moral behavior or fair play, and so more attention is paid to the terrible consequences of failure, the agony of defeat. You've heard what people say if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Just win, baby. But here's the interesting thing it's a paradox. That language. Those sayings hide and even try to deny half the purpose of the ritual. In fact, the experience we fear, defeat, is as important as the victory we desire. Sports, in this sense, is preparing us to deal with real, real life. Bad things happen, things don't always break our way, and we often lose. As we say, that's life. Okay. Now, I want to back up a step and return to earlier points before I go further.